What's up quadcopter fans, it's HowYouGonnaDrone.com and today I'm going to be doing a video on a landing modification with the landing gear on the F450 uh, DJI flame wheel knockoff. Uh, standard landing gear on this quadcopter goes down here on the bottom um, which makes the quadcopter flimsy when it takes off the thrust of the motors can make this thing off center pretty quick and uh, start you off on a little bit of a wobble. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something different. Is I'm going to take that landing gear, I'm going to zip tie it to the motor arm, and we're going to be extending it out on the end of the quadcopter. So it's going to be like this, and it's going to give us more stability, should be able to land better, um, and it should be more sturdy. So that's the overall goal. Uh, in order to do so, I did have to relocate the ESCs up to the top, uh, which is a little bit questionable since the you know, motors and propellers will be up there. Um, but I was able to relocate them without having to resolder, so I think we're going to be good to go. So basically this is the, the design of how we're going to do it, and I'll go step by step on the first one, and then cut to uh, later in the video. But basically what we're going to do is we're going to line this thing up flush and flat uh, with this motor seat here zip tie here, zip tie here, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to put two zip ties in up top to keep it in place. But that thing is in there nice and sturdy, and it should work out very, very well for some landing gear. So I'm going to go ahead and do the first one, uh, just so we can see how to do it. So what you're going to need for this is obviously you're going to need some zip ties. And the smaller the better. So, So what you're going to need is some zip ties, the smaller the better, obviously your landing gear. Uh, this comes standard with uh, most of the kits that you'll receive. Some of the kits do not have the landing gear. Some of the kits come with a landing skid. Um, but if yours comes with this type of landing gear, you can do this. So if you want to use this mod on yours and you have a different type of landing gear, you don't have them at all. You can pick these landing gears up. They're uh, F450s, also compatible with the uh, 550s too as well. Uh, roughly run you about seven dollars or so. So let's get started here on uh, putting this landing gear on. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to line it up. Make sure that this part is flush, and it doesn't have to be exact at the moment we can get a little bit more precise as we go along I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run my zip tie down once I can get it flush and lined up and I'll start tightening this thing down so I can get a better fit now I can remove this off of here let's say if I want to go down low with it um, since I will be running the ESC's up on top you know with the motors I really don't want too many distractions up here but just to hold it in place so then that way I can get started um, so making sure that it's flush again I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run my second zip tie and this time I'm going to be going around the motor seat cushion or 
motor arm that's standard on it. And then I'm going to be pulling this tight. And you can get out your needle nose and give it that one last yank on there just to make sure it's nice and tight. Alright, so now we got it in position of where we need it to. And then you're going to see the holes here. So we're going to run some zip ties through those. And between the four, it should give us a nice stable base. So I'm going to run this one up through the hole here. I need to make sure I go through the inside of the corrugated part there in the plastic and go ahead and I'm gonna get that as tight as possible I'm gonna try bringing it down so then that way I don't have the bigger end up towards the top because like I said I will be running those ESC's up at the top I'm using red because one it stands out and two it's easier to you know see in this video too as well Actually, just made a mistake, so I'm gonna have to put this one off. I'm probably shouldn't have done that. I tightened it down a little bit too tight, so be on the lookout for that. Covered up my other hole. And just so you can see what I'm doing. Run this through here, then I'm going to move it over so then that way I can also get the one on oops, the right side too as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this through to start it off so that way I don't have to worry about holding it and it popping out while I take the other one and do the same thing on the other side so go ahead and run that one through pull it on there and now we can get a little bit more snug with both of them once we have them in position. So I'm going to start cranking these down, tighten them up. Looks like we're about even in regards to the hole placement. And now I'm going to start moving it underneath. Get that nice tight fit. And so now we have our landing gear on here, nice and tight. It's not going anywhere. And so we're going to go ahead and do this to the remaining four. And hopefully we're going to get us a nice salad base. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the video. So that way I can go ahead and I can wrap up doing the remaining four. And we'll come back to it once I'm done. All right, so I just wrapped up zip tying all the um, landing gears to the motor arms. Got most of them nice and flush. I uh, still need to put on the, the top portion here, top plate, in order to screw it down. So then that way we got a more solid, secure, stable base. But if you look, I mean, this thing's secure. Uh, the motor arms come out, or I'm sorry, the... Uh, the landing gear comes out, butts up to these motor seats here, or landing seats on the right below the motor. So it's nice, stable, secure. There's good clearance here, possibly a gimbal, or even I could put, you know, my battery underneath, which I plan on doing, because I'm going to probably need to use uh, the interior here 
in order to hook up the lighting system. And so this is uh, the basic design and concept of the landing gear mod. Just scabbing it on to uh, the corrugations between or the holes between the plastic here. And I'm going to go ahead and I'll clip off all these zip ties here, but just wanted to give you a good look at it. So then that way, so you can see the mod and how it works. Um, if this video helped you out in any way, definitely give it a thumbs up. Be sure to like the channel and uh, stay tuned for more videos. I'm also going to be doing some uh, different modifications to this too as well. I'm going to be adding some lights onto it, um, as well as doing a, a few other modifications such as a battery mod down below, uh, or at least how I'm going to be, you know, connecting the battery. In addition to that, I'll be uh, flashing the firmware uh, onto this flight controller, which is the KK2.15. Um, so stay tuned and uh, be on the lookout for more videos.